2015 marks the 23rd year of the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships, held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and Ruler of Dubai. The Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships showcased the world's elite tennis players and has hosted the ATP tournament since 1993 and for the last 15 years the WTA tournament, which this year was a Premier 5 event. The Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships bring together the world's greatest players on one of the biggest stages in global tennis. Dubai Duty Free is the title sponsor and organiser of the tournament. In 2014, Dubai Duty Free received 37 awards, including the prestigious Frontier Award for Airport Retailer of the Year in a single location. We've actually won 12 Frontier Awards. It's very motivating for our staff and I always think it's our staff that win these things and I always think we're the best team of duty free staff in the world. 2014 was also a record-breaking year for Dubai Duty Free with sales figures of 1.917 billion US dollars, representing a 7.36 percentage increase over the previous year. It has grown from 1984. Our business that year was 20 million US dollars. Our business this year will be in excess of 2 billion US dollars. We have 6,000 people working for us and it is now the single largest duty-free operation at any airport in the world and we're very, very, very happy how that has grown up. We are continuing to grow in line with Dubai International Airport's plans and also Al Maktoum International, but the most exciting thing this year will be the opening of Concourse D, which will be 7,000 square metres of extra retail space. And there's some new brands, new concepts going in there, which makes it very interesting. It's a very different looking concourse, it's quite a circular, open atrium type feel to it and um, the retail area will be mixed with some F&B outlets and be very close to the departure gate so people can relax, they can see their gate, they can shop, they can have a coffee. Um, so it'll be a very nice addition to uh, Dubai International. When I'm shopping I usually start off looking for gifts for my friends and family and always end up buying something small for myself too. I don't like these boots. The Dubai Duty Free experience to me is one of the best experiences in an airport at all. You know, you can get anything you want at any time of day and it's just awesome. The Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships have been awarded the ATP 500 Tournament of the Year for 2014, a remarkable 11th time in the past 12 years. This award is made even more special as it's voted for by the players themselves. The total prize money for the tournament is 5 million US dollars, with the men's and women's tournaments receiving an equal 2.5 million US dollars each. We're absolutely delighted um, to receive this award. We don't naturally assume we're going to get it every year, but basically it's voted down by the players and the, and the officials. And what they see in this tournament is the fact that they're very well looked after, they're very much welcomed when they come into Dubai. For the players, for the tournament, we we'll make sure everything is uh, available uh, in terms of uh, facility like the the court services, the court practicing timing for them. The top players they, they come here every year and then they are committed to our to our tournament and to themselves. I think that that makes the whole tournament that makes the whole success. It's one of the most popular tournaments uh, with the players over the years, and I think that the award uh, says enough about the quality of the tournament, the quality of the organization. The people really make sure that. Um, that all the players uh, feel comfortable. I've spent quite a bit of time here. I've had a few holidays here um, in, in the past. I've, I've come here to train a couple of times and you know, you're pretty much guaranteed you know, good weather here. They have fantastic restaurants, good shops and yeah, the people here are, are, are very, very friendly as well. The tournaments run very nicely. The city offers a lot for the players as well. It's always blue skies here, they have beautiful beaches, then they have great uh, restaurants and places to go visit. Obviously the hotels are absolutely amazing as well. The Jameer Creek side which is right on site uh, since 2012 and they absolutely love that. The fact that they can just wander down to the practice courts, eat, see all their colleagues and friends and um, then come down to Centre Court and play which is fantastic. Since we opened the hotel we continue to get feedback from the players both in the ATP and the WTA that it's a wonderful facility and I think that's one of the reasons why the men players continue to vote our tournament the best 
500 series in the world. They do deserve uh, these votes from all the players because uh, we see a lot of tournaments throughout the year and Dubai puts on particularly a great event. All Centre Court games are televised live and ARN Radio broadcasts live each day from the stadium. An estimated 718 million US dollars worth of TV exposure was generated during the 2014 Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships with coverage throughout Europe, Asia, North America, Africa, Australasia and Latin America. With over 200 accredited international media in attendance, the 2014 tournament generated a gross advertising media value of 718.42 million US dollars, as stated in a report conducted by SMG Insight Limited. Print media coverage was also estimated at a value of 25 million US dollars. The Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships offer far more than just world-class on-court action. Situated conveniently within the stadium complex, there are a host of dining, entertainment and leisure facilities which enhance the tournament experience had by all. There is a choice of 12 different restaurants they can eat in, there are several coffee stations, there is courtesy from all the staff on the grounds, the security is not in your face everywhere, so they see very much as a, as a sort of a party day if they come here. They have the facilities they need, they can sit by the lake, they can eat ice cream, they can go to the Dubai Duty Free shop and shop if they wish. I think all of these things added together and, and generally we think the service is pretty good. Outside Centre Four you have many things to do, many things, many shops to, to attend, uh, restaurants. Uh, yeah. they, really, they really do a good job here in Dubai uh, for the players and for the fans. It's a great tournament for everybody I think. You always end up finding a great place to, to have a nice dinner and, uh, and have a good time. So, you know, really, as I said, this city has everything, so it's really great to be here. Colin McLaughlin, Executive Vice Chairman Dubai Duty Free, has been presented with the Irish Presidential Distinguished Service Award for his business success and support of the Irish community in the UAE. Whilst I'm absolutely thrilled to have received it, it's called the and the Presidential Distinguished Service Award. And I see it very much as belonging to, firstly, several Irish people that have been in Dubai or are in Dubai currently and have passed through here. And secondly, the profile and the team of staff at Dubai Duty Free. And so I share it very much with all of them, but I'm thrilled. The players also had time to relax off court at the stunning players' parties, which had fantastic entertainment, food and music. This year marks the 15th year of the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships WTA tournament. With so many of the world's best players taking part this year, the action was guaranteed from the first day. Fending and three times champion Venus Williams played her third round match against Lucy Safarova, but was unable to defend her title, losing 4-6, 2-6 to the Czech. There were other high profile exits in the third round, Anna Ivanovic lost after a hard-fought three sets against Karolina Pliskova and Petra Kvitova, seeded second in the tournament, also lost a three-set match against Spain's Carla Suarez Navarro. Caroline Wozniacki had performed exceptionally well to reach the semi-finals against Simona Halep, considering she'd been fighting off an infection throughout the latter stages of the tournament. Wozniacki took the first set 6-2 against the number one seeded Halep, but the Romanian dominated the last two sets 6-1, 6-1 to book her place in the final. After defeating Anna Ivanovic, Karolina Pliskova's confidence was sky high as she reached the final in what could be considered the biggest week of her career. The final was a tense battle from beginning to end, with just one break of serve deciding the opening set, which Halep won 6-4. The second set went all the way, with Halep double faulting on her second match point to take the set into a tie-break. Halep showed why she was the number one seeded player, putting the missed chances behind her to win the tie-break and become the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Champion for the first time in her career. Away from the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships, the players enjoyed all this spectacular city has to offer, from the mesmerizing beauty of the desert to the spectacular fireworks display behind the Burj Al Arab.
As well as seeing the world's finest players, the fans were entertained with competitions, such as the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Surprise Draw and the Guess and Win competition, where fans could win the keys to brand new Audi cars. There was the Dubai Duty Free Millennium Millionaire promotion, where fans can win the chance to enter the draw to win one million US dollars. Ladies' Day saw the most elegant and sophisticated ladies win tickets to the WTA final. At On Court, there was the Catch and Win competition, the Fantastic Fans Day, hashtag DDF Selfie competition, and the Emirates Ball Flight promotion, presented by Roger Federer, where the crowds won even more magnificent prizes. The Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships are proud to be part of the UAE community and aim to use the event, the coaches and the facilities to build a legacy in the community of increased participation in tennis and in physical activity. The Dubai Duty Free Kids Days were a great opportunity for hundreds of local school children to experience the game of tennis inside one of the greatest tournaments in the world. Kids of all abilities got the chance to meet the stars of the tournament and get first-hand coaching lessons from the game's best players. Schools from across Dubai were invited to take part in creative and fun competitions and the winners had the chance to meet the stars of tennis first-hand. While JP Morgan, as part of its involvement in the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships, demonstrated its commitment to helping women from across the region with a special morning featuring guest speakers passing on their knowledge and expertise acquired from the world of international tennis. We decided to uh, sponsor the Dubai Duty Free Tennis uh, Championship because uh, you know, it's a very important region for us here in the Middle East. We've been there for many, many years. Uh, and the UAE is a big part of our uh, Middle East business. Uh, and then secondly, you know, tennis is uh, big on Jay Moore's agenda. We're big sponsors on the US uh, Open, so it fitted in well with our uh, overall corporate strategy. We always like to associate ourselves with world-class events, and especially in Dubai, where those events showcase the uh, Dubai as a destination. And this is certainly one of the best events on the, tur on the tour. So we're really proud to be uh, partners with this event. Um, we have been for several years now. And the fact that the event was voted the top 500 ATP tour event by the players for the 11th time is testament to the organization of this event for sure. Our relationship with the Dubai Duty Free goes years back. We have been in business with the Dubai Duty Free for almost 25 years now. And then when they initiated the tennis tournament and Lacoste is a brand that is uh, uh, where the origins are tennis, then it became a natural uh, a partnership with the Duty Free uh, Tennis Championship. So it's a, for us, it's a natural choice. We have been supporting this ever since I can remember, I think from 1997. Uh, Dubai Duty Free are good friends of ours, and the synergy of the brand works with tennis. And that's why we've been happy to be with them for so many years. It's been the ninth year now Rolex is uh, associated with it by tennis and uh, as Rolex has been always uh, associated with sports and tennis is one of the biggest sports they are associated with. So it's an important uh, tournament for, for Dubai and for Rolex to be part of it. In its 23rd year here at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships, the ATP tournament welcomed the elite of international men's tennis. Andy Murray came up against the young and ultra-talented Borna Chorich in the quarter-finals. Chorich showed why he's one of the hottest prospects in the world of tennis, dismissing Murray 6-1, 6-3, and lined up a fantastic semi-final against Roger Federer. Federer proved a harder prospect, winning the match 6-2, 6-1, but the young Chorich really showed his class here in Dubai. In the other semi-final, Novak Djokovic took on Thomas Burdich in a repeat of the 2013 final. Then, as now, it was a fascinating battle, resulting in a Djokovic victory. It was a dream final here at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships, with two of the legends of the game going head to head. The match truly lived up to the expectations of the passionate crowds with spectacular tennis of the very best caliber. It was the defending and now seven times champion, Roger Federer, who triumphed on the night, a fitting end to a stunning tournament. The 2015 Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships has again confirmed its position as one of the leading international tournaments for its dedication to delivering spectacular world-class tennis, hosted in a dynamic, fun and professional atmosphere. 
The Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships is a truly global event, loved by both fans and players alike.